I'm here today to share a significant breakthrough in Zambia's fight against cybercrime. Uh, the Drug Enforcement Commission, in conjunction with uh, other law enforcement agencies, namely the police, immigration, anti-terror unit, uh, made a very, very stunning recovery, which you have already seen, I think, behind here. Now, after thorough investigations spearheaded by our intelligence team here, a raid on a company called Golden Top Support Services in Lusaka uncovered a sophisticated internet fraud syndicate. This operation was conducted following thorough investigation operations and revealed the presence of, uh, among other things, SIM boxing machines used for fraudulent activities, along with about 13,000 SIM cards, both domestic and international. Counting of these symptoms, I must emphasize, ladies and gentlemen, is still ongoing. As you can see, they are quite a, a heap, but approximately there. What we have counted so far is uh, 1,742 Vodafone SIM cards, 7,778 MTN SIM cards, 4,016 Airtel SIM cards, including 11 SIM boxes. The organization behind the scheme employed young Zambian individuals mostly school leavers under the guise of call center agents. These individuals engaged in deceptive conversations with unsuspecting mobile users across platforms like WhatsApp, Telegram, and chat rooms. The operation scope extended beyond Zambia with evidence of communication with individuals in countries such as Singapore, Peru, and the United Arab Emirates. In total, 77 suspects were apprehended including 23 foreign nationals, who include some Chinese and one Cameroonian. I must mention that uh, these are actually in custody. But to the Zambians, we allowed them bond so that they can help us with investigations, but we also charge them. Seized items include 93 desktop computers, which you have seen here, 42 new and boxed computers, one laptop, a satellite gadget, and other ICT-related equipment. This explains the reason why we brought on board uh, Zikta. As you can see, these are very sophisticated machines. Some of them might be beyond our scope as law enforcement. So we brought the experts on site, and they are helping us decipher certain things which might help us in the court process later. Furthermore, two firearms. You can see this is a, a pistol. So it's telling us that there's a big problem somewhere. Why should they be armed like this when they are carrying out uh, a general look at the, 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 the rounds, the number of rounds that are here. So these also were seized from these uh, people. This is a Beretta and a Sig Sua, along with 78 rounds of ammunition. Additionally, two motor vehicles, including a black Alphard motor vehicle, registration number BAT8373, and a Toyota Land Cruiser, registration number BAE5675, belonging to a Chinese who has been linked to this business, were seized. I think uh, what is important to, to, to emphasize, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, as Drug Enforcement Commission, we would like to ensure that the fight against cybercrime is taken to another level. Within the building, I have a wing, which is just out to look out for cybercrimes. I think the people of Zambia, through you people, have seen now that people are losing money even in their bank accounts. Without withdrawing money from your bank, somebody withdraws on your behalf. We have seen other agencies, I can't mention, that have been hit by these cyber criminals. So I want to assure the people of Zambia that we are out to get these criminals. And we are working in collaboration with all the experts in Zambia. What is important to note again is that uh, we shall not at all relent. And there will be no sacred cows. We have some other areas we are chasing right now, involving some Zambians. Others are already in court. Another scam that we uncovered, I think we announced it some time back, we can't talk about it now. They are already in court because of scamming people. You have heard of people that have gone to certain pension houses and withdrawn pension money for somebody. You go there to go for your money, you find somebody withdrew your money, has taken your identity, what you call identity theft. So we are out to do this. Please, the people of Zambia, report to us every time you are scammed. Come and tell us, because that would be the starting point. If you don't report to us, you continue being scammed. That's very important. I thought I'd take advantage, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to inform you too, that um, first of all, this scam, as you, as you can imagine, other, other service providers have lost money. MTN definitely has lost money. If your cards are being made this way, it means you're losing money. 
air to Yemen. They've lost money. There's no doubt about it. And our job is to protect these companies that are doing so much for this country. Now, another thing I thought I'd take advantage of is that uh, uh, in the operations that we've been carrying out in the couple of months, we have seized and forfeited to the state right now an average of about 836 million kwasha. It's going into control 99, back to the people of Zambia who have recovered it from wherever it was taken. And uh, in this line, we have also got some properties that we have seized. They can range in anywhere above 100 million kwasha. There are six properties. One is just in the, one of the prime areas in Lusaka, near mass media there, a big property. It's now for the state. We also have two in Roma. These are properties now for the people of Zambia, for you people. Then we have another one property in Siavonga. It's actually on the lakeside with a house, standing house, completely done. It's now your property. We have also seized two other properties. We have forfeited. These are forfeited properties, not just seized. Sealed and completed. We have also forfeited two properties in Ndola. These are also in prime areas of Ndola. Kasenji and the other place, very prime areas. And these are big, big properties. So I want to assure the people of Zambia that we will not relent when it comes to asset recovery. Because that is now uh, the way to go. The international community wants to see us retrieve what is stolen from the criminals and give it back to the people that, were, that lost that property. And the people here are the Zambians. So I'm urging Zambians once more, please report to us. In the next one week, if I'm not mistaken, we should have a toll-free number, which should be across networks, and we'll be, we're going to announce that. Toll-free. Once we've given you that number, there'll be people to respond 24-7. Give us the information. You are protected. When you give us information, we won't come for you. That's why I would say, let's have then a toll-free one so that people don't even spend. Just give us the information. We operate with information from members of the public.